Hey you guys, it's Cami with Costa Y Bar here with Barbara Joy and we and we are here to show you our newest project that we could not be more excited about. Let me see if I can get this to there it is. In the background. Let me get it. Okay. So when you join, let me know you're on. And we're gonna walk you through uh, how to make this cute little new project that is so affordable. So this, every now and then, every now and then, this is a joint collaboration. We literally sat in here and just kept throwing stuff at the wall and came up with this cutie patootie. It's called a picket pocket. It's a picket with a pocket. I know. It's so clever. We're so good. We're good. We're just so happy with ourselves. Taylor, I know, Taylor. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. So just imagine it, right? This bad boy is interchangeable. So this was the picture that I took. It was with two of the pumpkin picks. Can you stand how cute that is? I can't. Because I'm going to make a second one and that bad boy is going to my house. So, <laughs> Lauren, tell me that's you because that's confusing. Apparently, Coast DIY Bar is waving to us. Oh. I'm hoping that's Lauren logging in. <laughs> Whew, that would be very confusing. And yes, we'd be in a new world when we start waving at ourselves. Okay, so we're going to make a picket pocket. And I'm going to walk you through how to do it. All right. So when you get your, the way that we're gonna do this, <laughs> okay, Lauren is logged in as Coast DIY Bar because she has rights on the Facebook page. And that threw me just a little bit, but I'm okay. All right, so when you get your kit, we've done it and um, we've split things up. So you get your kit and when you get your kit, <clears throat> you're gonna make, you get what I call the picket pocket base sign or something. She's still laughing at me. Um, okay, so let me take this apart because I want you to see what you're getting. It's $13.50. I'm not kidding you guys. We hit a sale. And if the sale's not there when we run out and we need more, it might go up. So I'm just saying. Um, you're going to get everything you need to make this base. Nothing in here, no tag. Okay, $13.50. Everything. You get your choice of background stain and you're going to get the aging kit to make it look like this. And... You get the rusty wire, okay? Everything you see here, and you get these. They're posted now, Taylor, go girl, get them. Because uh -huh. here's my thinking, how cute would these be like with multiple ones? But this was the vision. This fits in those weird places in your house where you're like, I can't put anything there because it's five inches wide, three and a half inches. So cute, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're posted now, Taylor, go. So you get, the um, upholstery tax, you get the burlap, you get a little bit of twine, the rusty wire, and the board. So, let's make one. Hey, Caitlin. Caitlin, we haven't heard from you in a while. Hey. Okay, so everything comes in your little kit. You're also going to get a, a brush. You get the tax. This is, mm, this is your aging kit. So, you just get a little white and a little black. Okay, and... The 5,000 colors that are on my nails right now. Mm -hmm. And then the sample that I did is chocolate. I'm going to do chocolate again just because I like it. And I need that color in my house. <laughs> Ta-da. Yeah. So you have your brush. And the first thing I want you to do, this board, it is a fence post. I'm not lying, y'all. It's a fence post. There's no point in hiding it. We will also pre-drill it for you. Um it's durable for outside. Here's the, the only risk. You're gonna move. Caitlin, get down here, girl. No. You and your husband need to come no. down and see us. No, you're not allowed to. She is. She was one of our good de delivery folks. Yeah. Okay, so yes. all you're gonna do is dip in your brush and you're gonna wipe it on with this stain. The other thing you can do, and you're gonna get plenty of stain to go on. Hand me a paper. Oh, I can get one. I can reach one. <gasps> oh, 
I feel so useless. <laughs> okay. All you're going to do is put it on and wipe it in. You can even use just a paper towel. If you want to save your brush for like another project, you oh, can do that's, that. Oh, but that's the brush you want to get all skanky. You do want to get a skanky brush, so I call them a crusty brush. Barb call, calls them a skanky brush. Skanky brush. And put something down on your table. Our table's been through the ringer already. Did anybody else see that somebody tagged us in a, um, oh, I forgot who it was that tagged us, in a picture from two years ago. It was, oh, actually, I think it was Holly, my cousin. Um, mm -hmm. It was our fir the first table we built, and yes. the wall had a tote on it. A tote on it. A tote. <laughs> <laughs> and look, you can come and make a tote. A tote. Yep. That's all you could, that, that was it. That's all we had. We had a tote on the wall. Now look and, at the choices you have. I know. And I think the reason that we hung a tote was because somebody had left a screw in the wall from the previous tenant. And we only had, we didn't have anything to hang it up with. So that was good. Okay, notice how I'm just putting the stain on super simply. Um, the picket is treated, as you guys know, because it's a fence. So it's going to take things a little bit differently, but we never have any trouble. We do several little signs with these pickets. Um, they're cute. They're great for doing porch stuff because they're already treated. You don't have to worry about them. The only thing you have to worry about on this project is anything that you put in the pocket and the pocket itself. Oh, so lonely. I know it was very lonely, that sad little table. I remember when they were all clean, and oh. we worked so hard to keep them clean for so long. And then it was, and Katie, then, bar the door. And then somebody drilled a hole in one. And that was it. Hey, Tracy. No, you're good. Let me show you real quick. We're making our picket pocket. So cute. Uh, 1350 they're in the store. These will be like a long-term project. We're gonna always have them. If we run out of our supplies, we'll make more or get more, but we got a deal. And so they're only $13.50 right now. And then you add on, look on the store for a category called Picket Pockets. And in that category is a ton of flowers and little crisp, there's a Christmas pick. Um, pumpkin mm -hmm. um, tags that I'll show you in a second. So there's options to decorate. But look, you know, you may have your own flowers at home. Right. Put that extra one or two that are left over from something. That weird wreath that you could never make it work on. Yeah. Yeah. So Don't feel like you have many. to buy stuff. Okay, so super fast to get the stain on. And notice I am wiping it. I'm mostly wiping it because I'm getting heavy with the brush, but also it makes it look more even. Uh, you don't even have to paint the picket. Like if you like the natural look. Go for it. Yeah, leave it. So, oh, a hole in it. Oh, girl, two holes, two holes. They, she drilled her, <laughs> if you're on and you did it, it, we say this with much love. Uh, she was drilling holes for her tray handles. And you guys know we're true do-it-yourself, do DIY. You are the why in DIY. And um, yeah, we weren't really paying attention. I was in the back. Uh, I think I remember, I want to say, Lauren, it was either Lauren or Taylor came back and said, don't go out there. Just don't go out there. <laughs> Blocked me in the back room. Don't go out there. You don't want to see it. You don't want to know. Don't look. And um, yeah, they had drilled the hole in the table. Well, it's a, it, we needed somebody to break the barrier because now the tables look crazy. It's like the first scratch on a brand new car. Oh man. You know, you know. the first little thing you get and you're just sick about it. And then after that, it's like, Every car oh, I well. get, I spill coffee in the floor. Every car, no matter what. Okay. Just So this is a chocolate stain that I picked. You get any stain choice that you want. I was going to do blue, 
because you guys know I love my vintage blue. But with the look I was gonna go for, I decided to stick with the chocolate today. Okay, that's it. And then let me dry it real fast. So this is water-based stain. And you guys know you can dry it. I'm going to the Outer Banks on Sunday. Everybody be nice to Barbara Joy. <laughs> if we don't have something, I'll get it when I get back, I promise. I'll be back. I'm gonna try to be totally stocked before she leaves. I'm working on stocking up. I, I think she's more concerned about uh, packing a bag. I have not packed. It's Friday. And you work tomorrow. Yeah, no. I'll be packing Sunday morning when we leave. Yes, Caitlin, you can change it out. Oh, thank you, Tracy. I'm excited. I know myself well enough to know that it takes me four days to unwind. And we're really only going down for four or five days. But that's okay. I haven't been in the sun in two years, so when I come back and I'm a lobster. <laughs> what do you think she's going to look like? Oh, Barb's going to show you her lobster. I'm going to look like her lobster. That's right. So next week, it'll be lobster, Cammy. Yeah. That's lobster, Cammy. <laughs> this girl's got Irish in her. Okay. So I've got this. It's not fully dry. Fully dry it at home. I'm just kind of playing with it. And then I'm going to antique it and age it a little bit. And I've given you a white and a black. Do either. Do both. On this one, I did both. So let me show you. So see, I've got both on there. Now, look at the dip. Where's my gross brush? My, um, In your hand? No, this one. Oh, that gross brush. Okay. Look at the difference. He, we have ghosts in here. The lights have been, the whole, if the power goes out, we'll just keep going and I'll craft in the dark. So all will be good. So this is a fresh brush with stain on it. I'm gonna leave this stain in here because we like our chunk, crusty brushes. Look at this, I can barely bend these. That's what you want. So I did the, um, what did I do the black on? I did the black on something the other day and I didn't even touch it with water. I just let it sit in there. So it's good. I'm gonna use this one because this is the one I like. You're gonna have a fresh one in there. You can gunk it up, let it dry, and then go back and do your aging if it's easier for you. So with your aging kit, you need a paper towel. You just are gonna dip it into one of your colors. If you can get those nasty bristles in there. And then pounce it out. Pounce it across all of your bristles. And I'm being pretty rough. I think I'm, yeah, I'm shaking the thing. Yeah. Okay, ready? Let's see if I can get you to see it. I like to drag in one direction. I start off and then pull on. And all I'm going to do is that. And if I get, notice how I'm not coming this way. So with the grain. With the grain. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. We make such a good team. <laughs> you guys, we had the best time on our Flamingo um, virtual the other night. Oh if you didn't gosh. get to do it and you have a kit, get on there. The Zoom is crazy. It's in the group. Uh, we still have them for sale. You can get into this uh, group and watch it. We have a Facebook Live on there version. And then we've got the Zoom version of the video. There we go. I wanted it a little bit heavier. Oh, well here, I can show the flip-flop. Oh yeah, she's yeah, getting the flip-flop. In case you didn't see. I can't figure it. <laughs> Lauren, oh, Lauren is being coast DIY bar. I don't know how to be me. There should be a drop down somewhere, but you're good. Okay. Be us. We're all one team, girl. Oh, but where you get the flamingo? Uh, the flamingo is on my front door. <laughs> went home with me last night. I left the 4th of July one in here, but the flamingo is on my house. He's got a few months to, to play. Actually, he doesn't even have a full month because the uh, end of August, we're going to be doing another virtual. Uh, give me like two of those colors there. 
It's a ghost, I swear. You're not gonna see the whole thing. This is a sneak peek. If you followed us for a while, you know what the base project is, but I'm not gonna tell you. That's a peek. That's all you're getting. Oh, come on, Candy. Mm -hmm. Not till it's put together. It's so pretty. It is pretty. It's going to be it's, good. It's really different. That's what I like about it. I will tell you that it will go with our pumpkin palooza, but it will not be like if you're not, if you say to yourself, I hate pumpkins, it's okay. You're still going to love it. That's right. Oh, who hates fall, though? I think fall. You know? i got to be honest with you. I'm ready. Me too. I'm done. We're going to usher in open. fall for you as fast as I can. Push it in there for you. Oh, Roxana's on her door. Oh, Tracy's going to do her flamingo this weekend. Oh, cool. It's a cute one, Tracy. Post it, Tracy. So Tracy is one of my delivery ladies, and 99% of the time, she's the one mistake I make <laughs> on delivery every week. I, I don't. It started out to be kind of like embarrassing, and then it just got funny because it's every week. And I thought that I forgot something on, but we figured out who it was, Tracy. So we, she came in yesterday and got her piece. Okay, so I did the white. I'm going straight into the black. I'm not gonna dry my brush off any more than I did. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna get a little gray in it as well. Excuse the ghosts, the lights. They're not good today. I don't know if we've got, I know there's storms coming, so. It's an old building, she cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful building. Once you get inside, to coast DIY. Yeah, we're much cuter on the yeah, inside. Yeah, we're, we're, the, we're the cute ones. All right, so then I'm going to throw some black on, and I'm just going to do it near the edges, make it look a little bit dirty. A little dingy. I'm not going to go too heavy on this one, just a little bit of, little bit of dinge on the edge. Hmm. Yeah. So you're dinging it. I'm dinging it. My new HGT favorite, HGT favorite is um, Hometown. Oh. And I can't remember their names, but they're precious. Oh, this is husband and wife? Yeah. I like her design. Okay. That's it. That's what I'm doing. Not with the flamingo, right, Trace? I did it. I got you. I brought a kit without blowing it. So that's good. Okay. So that is your base. Super simple. I hope you're already starting to imagine what you can put in it. I'm gonna dry the bottom just a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how to put the burlap on. I'm blowing paper towels everywhere. And you guys know my blow dryer trick. You can get close with the dryer. It's the heat that dries, not the air. But if you hit it straight on, the heat will go into the hair dryer and turn off. We've all done it on our head. Let the air blow off. And you can get close. You can also wrap it up with sandpaper if you want. So like you could take, you don't have it in the kit. But if you've got some, you could easily just knock the edges a little bit. Nothing big. Okay, of course I did it in the place where the pocket is gonna go. Yeah, I noticed that. All right, oh well. Okay, so you're gonna have a little bit of twine. We'll use that at the end. That's more for decoration. And you've got the burlap that we've used is like an old, very loose weave burlap. We've cut you a piece. It's longer than you need. You are gonna need scissors. It's longer than you're gonna need. But we want you to choose because you could do a long pocket and it would be really cute. All right. And then you have your upholstery nails. Now you're going to need a hammer. If you've got needle nose pliers, you can use those to help. But I do think these are going to be just fine. This wood is pretty soft. If you want to, you can iron burlap. It's going to stink. You need to know that when you hit it with heat, mm. Burlap is rough. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna fold it back on itself real quick and just let it, it'll it'll fall out of, I mean, look how fast that fell out. Okay, Barb did the first one like this, so now you're gonna, you're gonna watch me mm -hmm. blow it. Barb's like, I'm watching ya. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna leave a little bit off the bottom so that I can tuck it under so it can be a pocket and it can hold things. I'm not gonna worry about being perfect on the edge because I can trim it. Make sure I know where the edge is. And I'm just gonna find a spot in the middle of the wood. Push it in really hard. And then I'm gonna tap lightly because you can damage the upholstery tack. So just go super light. do need the hammer we've given you enough to do five on each side and two on the bottom just gonna make sure I'm still mm -hmm. able to get my yeah, that's kind of a little wonky. it's all right wonky's good in burlap yes it is this is not a perfection project that's for sure mm -mm. and the burlap is um, like I said it's a super loose weave I'm going between the weave Tap it super lightly. I'm gonna go ahead and knock over here and get this other side. Make sure I don't get too far off. It's a little, like I kinda pushed it to the edge. I'm gonna make it work. I could've come up on the other side a little bit. Hmm. I'm gonna do a stretch. Barb's like, I saw this coming. Mm -hmm. So tip, be careful. Mine aren't going to be even because I'm not going to stress about that. But and I'm pushing it in. The wood is pretty soft. I'm getting it in pretty good whacking it down with a hammer. Okay. I might even do a sh mm, I don't think I'll do a shorter pocket. If you have flowers that have really short stems and you know what you want to put in it, I might would look at that before you get to make sure you give yourself some slack attached to where it goes, yeah. She's watching me. Yeah. <laughs> the student gets to be the teacher. <laughs> She's a goof. I am. All right. I'm going to come back and the whole shop's going to be rearranged. Hmm. If it's clean, that's a win. You guys, we posted the, um, hey, go get the lantern. We'll show the lantern. <laughs> we posted our lantern project. I think we've been kind of sneak peeking it a little bit. Um, by the time I got a chance to go back and look, it had sold out in less than three hours. Um, it's cute and all, but that's, that surprised me, I'll be honest. I wasn't quite sure that was going to happen. So we'll put another one out there, but we can only have a few... Oh, I know, Brenda. This one's a good one. It's only thirteen fifty. This is a good one. Um, but the lantern class, um, we we could. Oh gosh, look! I can get that one in without nailing it in on the bottom. Uh, we could only get ten, twelve, something like that in here because of the spacing. So it just sold out fast. So we'll put we'll put another one on. Look. So this, it's, you're gonna learn how to make mercury glass like you see on the back, see that? It was regular glass before. Mm -hmm. We're gonna teach you how to do that. And then you get the 3D winter wonderland on the inside. And then we're gonna have a greenery bar-ish. We have a greenery bar, but we're gonna have a bunch of decorative items laid out that you can um, decorate it. I know, it's, we're gonna have it, Caitlin. It's gonna come again. When do you move, Caitlin? I didn't even hammer the ones in on the bottom because it's so soft that I could do it. All right, now I'm kind of coming up to the top and I want to think about the way that we did it was we did a little fold over, right? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and give mine a trim because I don't really need this much. You guys can save the rest for something else. And then as I fold it down, I'm gonna want the last one to go through both of these and I'm trying to let it pucker out a little bit so that you can put things in the pocket without having to fight it so much. I'm gonna put it right in the center here. And we went with the old brass color of the nails, the tacks, because I just think it looks better with the burlap. Plus we had enough. That always helps. Yes. <laughs> That always helps. First week of September. Oh my gosh, you're going to Connecticut. You're going to, um, I try to think of all of the military signs that we've done with Connecticut. What's the, is it Newark? No, Newark. What city? Poor Caitlin, I got her on the spot. She's going to Connecticut. Oh. I'm done. So, it's burlap, it's gonna come all apart, but one of the things Barb did that I love was she took these last ones and purposely pulled out the horizontal row, several rows up so that you get like a fringe effect. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more texture. Oh, it's so oh rotten, yes, yes. My uh, old company, I was, I've been to Groton many a time. Okay, so see the cute little fringe on the bottom. Okay, so now, look how easy this project is, you guys. Rusty wire, you're going to have too much, but I'll show you how that you don't have to worry about that. So you're just gonna unwind it a little bit. And we're going to show you how to do it so you don't have to trim it. There's holes in the top. Mm, probably easier to see on the back here. You're going to go up through one of them. And then you're going to wind it around on itself. Be careful because it is a wire. Mm -hmm. If you've got needle nose pliers, it's easier. Or wrap it around a pencil. Or you can wrap it around a pencil. Or a paintbrush. You got a small paintbrush? Yep. Just going to show you that it's doable without that. So see how I've just um, kind of wound it up like that? Oh, hey, Denise. And look at my dirty hand. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it to the piece, and I'm going to let it go flat. It's not going to be perfectly on top of the circle. That's kind of the beauty of the old rustic look, so don't worry about that. Okay. I'm going to flatten this part up, okay, so that I can lay it flat. Now, look how much I've got. I've got too much. This is the thinnest wire. You can cut it with um, scissors if you need to, but let me show you a trick. Let me use this one. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do this little curly action at the top, it will hang a little sturdier. Anything you do to a wire when you, um, whether it's silver, copper, rusty, whatever kind of wire, the more you manipulate it, this comes back to my jewelry days. I used to make jewelry. The more you manipulate a wire, the harder it gets, okay? It can become brittle and crack, but if you manipulate it, it generally hardens, and in the twirling action that we're gonna do, it hardens the wire a little bit. That's why you see that it doesn't just completely bend the curl out. Okay, so all you're gonna do, I'm gonna turn it around there. Get yourself straight, and you're just gonna wrap it around. This is so this one's not straight all the way down. I'm gonna. Oh yep, yeah, we grabbed the same thing. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a sharpie. Better. Yep. Can I have your sharpie actually? Oh, okay, you can have my sharpie. <laughs> yeah, because this is a little bit thinner. You could do a pencil. A pencil's a good one. Find where you really want it to hang, and then you're gonna just wrap it around super tight. Watch the end of the wire. Don't let it poke you in the eye. And I'm gonna go all the way till I get it 
to a good length to put it back up through the other side so I don't have to worry about cutting it off. That's about right. So see, that's, I haven't moved it. Oh, thanks, Jill. Hey. So just a little bit of the curly wire. And then I'm going to come back up the other side. Just going to go through your hole. Don't flatten it before you get it where you want it. And then I'm going to do the same action. I'm just going to take this and gently, don't cut your finger, but if you hold it flat, you can twist it around a couple times. And then I'm going to lay it flat on the front. Now this is super soft wire, so you can manipulate it to be where you want it. Oh, thanks, Denise. Okay. So now I've got this wire looking all wonky, right? That's okay. I'm just going to stretch it. It's okay if it goes a little more down one side than another. That's all cute. And now you have a hanger. So cute. Oh my God. So okay. if it's a little hay wire. <laughs> we love Barbara Joy. <laughs> Speaking of hay, I'm working what? on trying to figure out how to make a scarecrow gnome. That's my, that's my I goal. I have an idea. I'm going to uh -huh. run it by you after we get off the lot. That's my goal. Okay. Now look, you've got a bunch of flowers. I'm going to show you a bunch. Barb's brought some. And then I'm going to show you, there's also these cute tags. So I'll kind of, and I know they're backwards. Let me see if I can flip it. Hang on. Mm. Let's hope we don't go away. Oh, no. <laughs> there's my ceiling. No, sorry. That's not right. I still haven't figured it out, y'all, after all these months of lives. So this one says, welcome to our farmhouse. And the farm is all super cute. Yeah, the scarecrow gnomes are going to be good. So you can leave them plain or paint them, right? You can leave them plain or paint them. It doesn't come with paint when you buy these. They're $1.50. Everything we're doing on this project is affordable. So um, you guys have paint at home or don't paint them. I'm going to leave mine plain. All right, welcome to our farmhouse. This one says, love grows here in a super curly font. Love that. This one just says, welcome to our home. Like imagine it in your front entry, near your key holder or your mm -hmm. coat rack. Cause it's almost that time. On that, uh, I'm, I'm thinking on my cl coat closet. On your coat, yes. Yeah. It'd be cute on the door. On the door on my coat closet. You know those, everybody's seen those um, and probably have one at some time in their life. The pegboards that you put in your four years that Everybody decorates cute in magazines, but in real life, you hang your purses and stuff like that. This would be super cute on that. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Because mm -hmm. we oh, are in the Oh, how about the side light on your... Um, you could hang it outside yeah. on a little um, command on strip hook in your door. side light in the glass side thing. That'd be cute. Yeah. It's fall, y'all. And because it's Coasty at Wide Bar, welcome to the beach cottage. Yes. Uh, Hello Pumpkin. Mm, this is the one I'm going to use. I did a Happy Halloween and a funky little thing, and I thought you could put, um, um, like, dead flowers. That's <laughs> what I was thinking. <gasps> what a cool idea. Yeah, all those dead flowers that are in your backyard, hold on to them. Yeah. I think they'd be cute. Oh, they'd be adorable. And then I cut some shapes. I'll add more, but right now what we've got is the cutest little acorn, a pumpkin, and a fall leaf, okay? These just come plain. All of these are $1.50, super simple. And so let's put a Hello Pumpkin on here. Um, oh, here we go. So you get a little bit of twine with your picket pocket kit. You don't need the twine with the tag because you've already got some. And I'm just gonna go around the back and my advice is this, because you want to be able to interchange this. I would tie a knot first so that that knot is stable. And then you can add the tag on top of it. Don't go too tight because you got to be able to fit stuff behind this. Mm -hmm. OK, 
Okay, so now that's stable. And as I interchange my tags, all I have to do is slide it up on here and tie a little bow or a knot, whatever is your jam. Don't make a knot unless you want to keep it forever. Uh, one of the things we are going to add in these tags, which uh, isn't out there yet because I'm going on vacation and I don't like to put stuff out there that would take two weeks for you to get. Uh, but I'll show, I'll show you. We're going to do um, custom established tags. This is a little wreath and then you'll be able to change the year out. Wedding present, under $20. Mm -hmm. So cute. Win-win. You get to make it and then you get to give it. Okay. Hello, pumpkin. Oh then you need to put your pumpkins in. Get my pumpkins. So we only have, I think, sixteen of these like sagey-looking pumpkins. I'm gonna work on ordering more. Dang it, that's so cute. Okay. Mhm. Mm that's the hello pumpkin with the pumpkins. And this is two. It's cute with one. Don't yep. feel like you need Ooh. to get to it. Add, add the Queen's Anne lace in there. Just okay. To it's fill cute it out. like that. Queen's Anne lace. Everybody knows it's not real because in the real world, it would have um, it would chiggers on it. Chiggers. <laughs> oh. I'm a true southerner. I know what a chigger is. <laughs> it makes me sneeze. Yeah. So, little Queen Anne's lace right in there, right? I mean, this could oh, yeah. totally, imagine it right by your front door. Everybody's got that weird little panel that like, it's the space between your oh, door one. and that cute piece of furniture you put in your foyer that you don't, you know, cotton. We have cotton and pine cone stems. This is a little large, but. Look at how cute that is. If you like a big old statement piece. Bum -ba -da -bum. So we've got the cotton. Yeah. And okay, then, try the flower. And the cotton is five, right? I believe so. I think so. Yeesh, I'm hooked. Hold on. I don't want to, the cotton is kind of delicate, so I just don't want to. Man, it got like tangled in my in the curly cue. <laughs> okay, there's okay. The, the big peony. This orange peony could not be more. This is my favorite flower ever. Look, I might. Oh, it's not going off. There we go. Look. Precious. Mm -hmm. $5. Okay, let's talk about this sign. $13.50 plus $5 is eighteen fifty plus tax and all that, whatever. So $18.50, $1.50, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Uh-huh. We're really proud of this one because it's a good deal. Can we pick it up there? And if so, what are your hours? Absolutely, Cynthia. We are here Thursday through Sunday every week from 1 to 6. Come on down. It's quiet today. Mm -mm. We're waiting on the storm, the afternoon storm. Yesterday we got nailed, nailed. Like we couldn't even see the cars oh, in the parking lot. It was, it was not a good sign. Not a good sign. Look at this cute one. That's the small one. That's the three dollar one. This is three dollars. Three dollars. So now you're down to eighteen fifty. Now you can afford to buy a, a car that says "Happy Wedding." Yeah. Yeah. Cute. It's just so All cute. Twenty dollars. Oh my gosh! Every now and then we come up with something that like just makes us happy. I'm feeling pretty genius if I if mm -hmm. I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, and then we've got these are called out oh, in the system peony buds. They come all of these together. Mm -hmm. It's five dollars again. You can order every pre-order everything before you come in. Mm -hmm. I would if you're gonna come in, I would go get it online. Just to make sure it's there. Make sure there. we have enough when they come in because yeah. we'll fill those orders first. Oh my God. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to have Christmas. We're going to have, um, I've got a few. Hey, go grab the Christmas pick. Oh, oh. I'll show you berries? the Christmas pick that we have now. We're going to do, we have the Christmas pick already. We're going to add in some rusty bells. Yes. So you'll be able to add a rusty bell. Can you buy just the, can you buy the cotton? Yeah, the cotton's on the store. Yep. And then, um, here's the pine with What the... we don't have is sunflowers, y'all, because they always sell out here really fast. Oh yeah, look. It's just one little spring. She jingles. Yeah, it's just all you, you need. Ring my bell, baby. 
You know, when you get these, you gotta manipulate them to where they fit. I actually love when things are a little bit sideways in something, right? Oh yeah. And then if we, when we get the extra bells, you can put some bells here mm -hmm. to zhuzh it up a little bit. And we have Christmas tags. We're gonna have Christmas tags. We're gonna have New Year's tags. I'm gonna do a, um, we've got the established tag. And then just simple sayings like this one is love grows here, right? Just some more generic things that can last all year round. Uh, and then we're gonna do some more shapes. So these are our fall shapes right now. Here's the other thing. You can buy these fall shapes and not buy this. We're not the monitor police, we don't care. These are $1.50, um, but how cute. I'll show you the acorn because I think this one's precious. I do feel like we need to do some big acorns or something. Pumpkin Palooza is coming. What does that mean? <laughs> pumpkins a billion ways, basically. We've got some really big pumpkins, and if you come to the shop this weekend, the samples are, have made it down here from off my own porch, which is where they lived for a while. Um, so those are going to be available. There's stand-up pumpkins that will be great for your porch or fireplace or anywhere. Uh, the tallest one is 24 inches tall. So they're have, they're made out of two by fours. Oh my goodness. Look at that acorn. And then I'll put the pumpkins in. So that is, I just think it's the cutest stinking thing. I really do. It's super simple. It goes into a place Shannon Kim's got one. Girl, you got to get them. They're so cute. Here's the other thing I thought that would be so cute. What if you, because they're so thin, you could do several of them, and then you have this whole thing that you can interchange, and it would be so cute. And stagger them. and Stagger them. It would look like an old, um, I like the look of them because they, they hit farmhouse, they hit beachy, they hit uh, primitive decor they kind of hit everything yeah so. if you could find some seagrass to put in it would be or pompa pompous grass pompous grass so yeah. i started to show you a picture with pompous grass we don't have it in here but i have some in my house i'm gonna give you one last tip before i i go pompous grass cut it um when it's fully bloomed i forgot when that happens it's weird it's like fall or winter or something mm -hmm. when it's fully i think it's the male that's fluffy there's male and female pompous grass. I don't know why I know that. So it's fluffy, the fluffiest I don't even ones. Know why. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna, and if Denise is still on, your sister's the one that taught me this, um, you're going to get Aquanet. Go back to the 80s, y'all. Aquanet hairspray, okay? Aquanet hairspray. And you're going to spray the hairspray on them. Do it several times very lightly because you don't wanna. Um, uh, don't mats down together. right you don't want them to stick together but if you do a light coating on the pompous grass I've had two full things of pompous grass in old beach glass bottles for six years and they don't fall apart and I have three-year-old labs running around the house so Aquanet that's my tip uh, will you get getting sunflowers I am trying to order sunflowers that keep it in our price point I'm looking because um Honestly, we haven't judged up the greenery bar in a while because, well, mm -hmm. there's a pandemic going on yeah. <laughs> and we haven't had a lot of people in here, uh, but we're going to do it. What color did I use on the board? Brenda, this is chocolate. I did a chocolate stain base. Uh, coffee's similar. Coffee's a little bit lighter. Colonial pine is even lighter. So that'll tell you chocolate is the darkest of coffee, chocolate, and colonial pine. Okay. I think that's it. It's quiet down here. Somebody come down and visit us. We're here. We're going to be here all weekend. Um, if you still want to do the flamingos, you can still do that. They're available. And stay tuned. Uh, when I get back, I'm leaving Sunday for vacation. And be nice to Barb while I'm gone. And then when I come back, we are starting to kick off the pumpkin palooza. So we're super excited about that. And fall is coming to the coast. All right. Everybody take care. Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe. Uh, you know, wear your mask. Don't cough on anybody. Everybody take care. Bye.